Hello. Hi guys, I'm sick and I just filmed a get ready with me. Um because uh, I wanted to. Do I really need to like, is there an explanation? No. Um, it's Christmas Eve, so Merry Chrysler. Merry Chroma. How do I get my hair done all the time and my roots literally come back so fast? Does that mean that's how much my hair has grown? Or like, what does that mean? Anyway, Shut the fuck up. I'm not in my prime. I'm pale as crap, need my eyebrows waxed, and I'm just, you know, I have COVID, so I'm not feeling hot. But I got ready and I filmed it for y'all because you know, I'm stuck in the house, not bored in the house because I never get bored. I would never in my life ever be bored. There's always something for me to do. I would never run out of things to do. Even if I had like a year alone in my house, I would always, I mean, that's what I do anyways. But like, I always, there's always stuff to organize. There's always stuff to do. There's always stuff to like clothes to sell and videos to edit and videos to record. And there's endless things to do, okay? I've never been bored in my life. Now that I just told you how I've never been bored in my life for like an hour straight, we can get into the video. I just have to warn you, I look really scary. Like I am not in my prime. So get that out of your head. No making fun of me. We don't do that over here. We don't do that anywhere, but we don't do that over here. Unless I give you permission. Hello, hi, welcome. We're going to do a pale get ready with me. And I say pale because I feel like being tan is my brand. No, okay, it's not, I don't have a brand. Being being tan, being tan is on brand for me. Like I am always tan. And unfortunately I have COVID, so I can't tan. I can self tan, but I don't want to. I'm embracing my inner paleness. This is insane, I'm literally so pale. Kind of scared of myself. There's nothing wrong with being pale. It's a personal preference. I don't like myself pale. I've always been this way since middle school. My mom and my sister the same way we were just always loved being tan queens oh my god so <clears throat> holy shit i'm sweating it's christmas eve and i'm in nashville by myself because i have covid i was like you know what i'm gonna do a get ready with me and i don't really want to film it on tiktok because i look so crazy why not be ugly on youtube <sighs> first up i use a lotion this is cetaphil 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 um i'm not really picky about my lotions bliss also sends me a bunch of lotions follow me on instagram and i link all my lotions on there. They're also like gonna be below in the description. I always link the products I use on there. So if you don't follow me on there, what are you doing? So normally I would prime my face. I'm currently using this marshmallow primer I got on Amazon or I use this. This has been my holy grail. I don't care if it's old and there's new things out. I still use the old same shit. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. <coughs> I take my giant ass beauty blender. This thing is massive. This is this is a regular size one. This is massive. Just gets the job done. And since I'm pale, I've never been able to use these and I waited too long to return it. It's the Isla Beauty. Why are my lips hurting? Oh wait, shake before use. Oh my god, I feel like a scientist. Woo! You! Big summer blowout. This is usually way too pale for me, so I can't use it. <laughs> Guess what? I'm one pale mother fricker right now. Oh, I forgot. I also skipped my sunscreen step. I'm running low, so I'm kind of saving it and I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not gonna use it. Yes! Now we're going to blend. Maybe I'll end up liking this product and get it in my shade. This is the regular foundation I use. Everything will be linked in the description. I'm just gonna say that 10 times because if I don't, you still will ask. I'm gonna cake it on because I'm feeling extra ugly because I'm sick. Let's fill that void with a bunch of makeup. That's what I like to do. It smells. Hey, I can smell. That's a good sign. You know, it's Christmas Eve, so everyone's getting ready today, and I don't really get to get ready today. But who says I can't get ready for nothing? Which is literally something I never would voluntarily do because I hate getting ready. Literally like 90% of the product gets absorbed into the sponge, but um, I don't know. I think that's the point. I don't know. My lips are burning, like as if I have a sore. I hope you guys like this slanted angle that I have you at. I could easily fix you, but I kind of like uh, feeling like you're on Mount Everest. Woo! Where is Mount Everest? I know nothing about it other than that it's at Disney. <laughs> Not funny. Get edumacated, girl. Okay, I don't like it. I still feel hideous. That's because you are. Oh. Using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, because my under eye bags are, they're not actually that bad right now. Yes. This is my pale one. Damn, I'm pale as shit right now. Normally this is so pale on my skin. Right now it like matches my skin. That's uh, okay. Well, normally I'm a lot tanner. If you know, you know. And then I use my small beauty blender. I blend that sucker in. Silence. <gasps> now what? I really don't want to do like all this. It's so extra. <clears throat> okay, now I'm taking this Rare Beauty blush. I really can't wait to use this in the summertime because I feel like it's gonna look like a natural like cheek burn. Like if I don't want to put makeup on, I'll just put like a little bit of this over the summer. <laughs> and then I damp it in and yes, I use a lot. Wait, I forgot I didn't need that much of this product. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm still new to it. Normally I use the Benefit one. And then I put it on my nose because that's what the kids are doing and it makes you look shy. I can't wait till my niece starts like using makeup if she wants to. If that's her thing. Ooh, I actually think it's because I don't know how to use it, but I do not like the Charlotte Tilbury contour thing, personally. I think it's because I, because I used to hate cream blush, and I think it's just because like, I don't know how to do it right, like it's not good on my skin, it doesn't look good on me, but I like it on other people, so I am personally not gonna be using it. Give it to me, Miss Gomez. 
Okay, then I take my banana powder. Set those under eyes, mama. Set those under eyes. And then I'm taking my MAC powder, NW30, and my Real Techniques brush, and I'm setting my whole face. I don't know why people don't do this anymore because my makeup looks like shit in like four hours if I don't. So, like, I don't understand. Okay, I just realized this lighting is so bad. Actually, I've been on it whatever now what it's just a quick process sometimes I really just start slapping things on but this is my Tarte blush yes we use liquid blush but I like to go over it with a powder because I just I have always loved blush I don't know if it's from comp cheer I have always been a blush girl I love color on the cheek so you guys I already know my comments are gonna be like oh my god I hate the way you do your makeup like why are you slapping it on I normally don't slap it on well I do this is how I normally do it I, I normally am a little more careful with it and like clean I am sick right now and I'm kind Kind of just like rushing and not really caring because I'm not going anywhere but just so I'm showing you the basics this is my hula bronzer I use it in caramel I like the darkest shade of this I feel like it really makes it pop you know what I'm saying okay so see I messed it up there because I was just being silly I was just being foolish ew I can feel the snot in this brush yeah I'm gonna have to get a new one oh yeah okay now I'm taking the revolution banana powder a lot of people were like confused on how to use it so what I do is I put it right under that contour like that <laughs> This is just gonna like make your cheekbones look super defined at the end. So what I do is I leave it on there, you know, adding it other places, I don't know. But yeah, we're just leaving it on there and I'm going to move on to, what should we do next? I always go in like random order. So I don't always do this, but my eyebrows get so much makeup in them and I notice that like everybody just like leaves it, but it, it, it drives me crazy. Let me know if anyone else is like this. Cause like, I literally can't stand when I have a shit ton of makeup in my eyebrows. Even though I put makeup, I just mean like a bunch of foundation and stuff. I hate the way it looks. Also, I need my eyebrows waxed so bad. And like, you might be like, they're not even that bad. I started getting my eyebrows waxed in the fourth grade and I've religiously gone like every two and a half weeks since I was in the fourth grade. And I've never plucked my own eyebrows. I always go get them waxed by someone I just like it I just get a little cleanup and so I'm super particular so this is like driving me insane but I have COVID so I can't go get them waxed obviously so whatever Ugh. now I'm going to take this morphe brush my kkw beauty classic palette I will get an eyeshadow palette and just like run it up and just like use it for I don't know however long I feel you know eyeshadow palettes do expire though so this I think I'm just taking this color this brush honestly has like all the colors mixed on it so I kind of just like put it on the crease but yet at the same time all over the lid I'm just like careful with it because I don't want it in my eyelashes I do have eyelash extensions so see all I'm just like brushing it kind of on the lid so I do this for a while I think in my tiktok tutorial it looks like I'm just like shh which I mean I am but like I do kind of spend a little while doing this because you have to make it blended or else it looks like really bad I think it looks just like careless not good if it's not blended sweating oh yeah yeah you kind of have a deadly disease my friend ow oh losing an eyelash oh I lost a big cluster of lashes before I had eyelash extensions and when I used to have hair extensions it would take me like two and a half hours to get ready in middle school because I would have to straighten all my hair clip in hair extensions glue on fake lashes like it took so long I eyelash extensions have saved my life also not having hair extensions has saved my life but then I take this little morphe brush and I kind of just dip it in the same colors and I go underneath Then I take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing this step. It was just like a random thing I brought back and then everyone on TikTok freaked out. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll keep doing it. And I top it in. Make sure you tap it in or it looks crazy. <sighs> Let's try this new step. So I'm trying to teach myself using the Anastasia like brow gel how to do these like soap brows, but I don't like it on me. I have a lot of eyebrows, so like I'm able to do it, but I just don't like the look on me. It's literally just gel. Who the hell is on a party bus right now? It's Christmas Eve. It's kind of funny. Sounds like a f fun family. You can tell I'm like not really in the mood. I'm sorry. I swear I'm a nice person. Kind of. This looks like, how is this? I don't know. Guess it's the thing. Gotta stay on trend. <gasps> I don't even think you guys can see, but it's kind of terrifying on me. Mm, yeah. Hmm. I'll be with us. All right, now I'm gonna fill it in with soft brown. My brow whiz. I mean brow, is that what it is? I don't know. Maybe I should have let it dry. I don't know, this is still a learning thing. Oh. <laughs> I don't, 
I don't know. Okay, we're gonna move on. Then I'm gonna take my Chuggy eyeliner. And I know people hate the word Chuggy, but like, what do you want me to call it? My old school eyeliner. This is literally middle school core. And I put it on the bottom eyelet thing, waterline. Yes, everyone's gonna say, I like you so much better without bottom eyeliner. I don't care. I don't care what you like. It's what I like. It's my face. I, preferably, do not like the way I look. I like the way I look in pictures and stuff without bottom eyeliner, but in person, I don't like it. I think it looks good, like, for a little, but it doesn't, like, all night long. It, it doesn't, it's not a good look on me. It doesn't work for my face. So, moving on. Bang mascara. You know, we still have our banana powder baking on our face, which is very important. That's how we get the very look so i'm gonna do my bottom eyelashes um i don't want you to watch because i literally hate doing my bottom eyelashes they're my least favorite part of my whole makeup process and i'm gonna get really frustrated and i'm already like eh. so be right back okay i noticed people don't really use highlighter anymore but guess what frick i'm not most people so i take this mac and whisper of guilt i think it is i put it on the tip of my nose top of my lip my chin on top of my cheeks Woo. Yes, babe. Then sometimes, I'm just, I don't do this all the time. I don't know why I do it sometimes. I take like a eyeshadow brush and I just do like right here and right here with my bronzer. Actually, no, I do it like that too. Is it actually doing anything? Probably not. It might now because I'm so pale so you can see it a lot better. And then I brush it to blend it in. And <laughs> my bottom eyelash is fucking I'm in the process of backing up all my photos on my iPhone because I can't ever take pictures because I have too many And people say that and I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand I have 157,000 pictures Videos, I have, I don't know, more I have so many videos because I do daily vlogs And I'm always, I've always recorded everything and I never delete things So I'm a hoarder So, uh, yeah And you might be like, how do you have that much storage? I don't know, I don't know I have the, like, most storage you can get, it. I know I pay for it myself I think it's like $11 a month. Then I take my Charlotte Tilbury and lip cheat. Oh, I guess I've been lying to you. I did not know. I'm not lying. I guess I just have been wrong about what I've been using on my lip. Oh, wait, no, I'm right. This is Pillow Talk 2. Medium. Oh. And line my lip. Hi. getting somewhere then i take the lipstick it's really expensive so i buy the mini sizes and they are lasting me a long time so beautiful it's a stretch girl now i'm finally gonna brush my beard away and blend everything ta-da holy shit i look scary i think it's this angle wait why did i not just film right here the whole time <laughs> that was stupid that was really stupid look how pale i am i hate it I'm forgetting something. Oh, I use just any setting spray. This is the NYX. Okay, so my hair, air dry, I never blow dry. I slept with it wet, so it's in knots. My naughty girl. Naughty. Okay, stop, Christy, stop. So I'm gonna brush it. I got sent this hairbrush with these extensions that were sent to me. I'm not wearing them. From um, Foxy Locks, and I love this brush. It feels like, like what I would brush like my matted golden doodle with. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. So let's brush. You never wanna just like brush your hair like that. You always wanna grab it and do the ends. <laughs> Yes! This is gonna turn me into a fluff ball. This is all my real hair and I'm literally killing it I worked so hard to keep it healthy and now I'm just killing it, which is sad, but whatever. This side always gets more naughty <laughs> Naughty and then for heat protectant right now I'm just using insert name here flame fighter. I got it on Amazon vegan cruelty free all that stuff sulfate free What is that? And I just kind of You know I make sure to get it like on my baby hairs because these are what break all around here. Those are what's most sensitive. Look how pale I am, you guys. Like, I've never seen me this pale. Except for when I came out of the womb. I don't remember it. Thank God. That would be gross. Okay, so my hair is a floof ball, so I have to do it. This is my little thumbprint necklace that I wear every day. It's from LegacyTouch.com. I say it in every video and I still get asked in every video and I'm like, literally, I say it all the time. I am just cranky. Wow. A cranky Christmas. Look how pale. I'm so pale. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, now I'm going to do my hair. My hair is a work of progress. I do not like my hair. I do not like the way it's cut. So every single day when I go to style it, not every day, but whenever I go to style it, I get like really angry. I've been angry this whole video, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sick. And I think COVID is literally making me grumpy because even when I try and have conversations with people, I like am very snappy. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I literally am aware that I'm being snappy. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just like such a mom cut. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is kind of my final look. Ugh. Whoa, I love this top. It sold out so quick on Princess Polly. I can't get over how damn pale I am. Yes. I just went on my balcony and it was so windy. My hair knotted up so fast. All right, anyways, love you guys. Miss you. Hopefully I'll be back to myself soon.